In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about power supplies as introduction, block diagram of regulator, load regulation, line regulation, and types of regulators as Zen regulator and transistorized voltage regulator. Let's start with the introduction to power supplies. We know that every electronic device needs some sort of power supply for its working. For most of the devices, this supply is in the form of DC voltage. Thus, we convert AC voltage into DC voltage with the help of rectifiers and filters. Even though the output produced is DC signal, it varies with variations in the AC signal. This type of signal is called as unregulated supply and may damage the device. Thus, we always prefer regulated power supplies, which we will see shortly. Now let's see more about voltage regulators. Every electronic device is made up of some basic sections as power supply section, input section, main section and output section. We will only focus on power supply section. Power supply section is one of the most important sections as it converts the line voltage into the DC voltage which acts as an input to that device. A basic power supply consists of a transformer followed by a rectifier, a filter and at the end a regulator. We have already studied transformer, rectifier and filter. So in this chapter we will only focus on regulators. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Let's move on to the block diagram of the voltage regulator. The term voltage regulator is used when the output delivered is DC voltage. Voltage regulator is a circuit which supplies constant voltage at the output in spite of change in the input line voltage or change in the load. The block diagram of a voltage regulator is as shown where AC signal or line voltage is the input and we get the DC signal at the output. The different blocks are transformer, rectifier, filter and lastly the electronic regulator circuit. Let's see the function of each block one by one. Step down transformer steps down the magnitude of AC voltage of AC input voltage to a lower magnitude AC signal. This signal is fed to the rectifier. The output of the rectifier circuit is the fluctuating DC signal. A filter converts the fluctuating DC signal into the pulsating DC signal with some ripples present. And lastly a regulator which removes the ripple from the filter output and keeps the magnitude of the DC signal constant. Let's see the types of regulators now. The regulations are of two types as line regulation and load regulation. In case of line regulation the output voltage remains constant irrespective of the change in the line voltage or input voltage. And in case of load regulation the output remains unchanged even if the load changes. The different types of regulators are Zener regulator, shunt regulator, series regulator, negative voltage regulator, switching regulator and high current regulator. We will only focus on three regulators as Zener regulator, series regulator and shunt regulator. Let's see the Zener regulator first. Zener diode is a specially manufactured PN junction diode which can withstand in reverse breakdown region also. When a Zener diode reaches reverse breakdown, its voltage remains almost constant even though the current changes drastically. This property enables the use of Zener diode as a voltage regulator. A DC voltage regulator using a Zener diode is shown below where load is connected across the Zener diode in parallel. Let's first consider the line regulation. Note that the diode is connected in reverse bias. When the input voltage increases, the input current also increases. But diode, being in the reverse bias mode, operates in the breakdown condition. Thus, all the excess current flows through the diode only and load current IL remains constant. Hence, output voltage V0 also remains constant 
accomplishing the task of line regulation. The next type is load regulation. In this case, we vary the load and keep the line voltage constant. If we increase the load, the load current decreases. Thus, product V0 equals IL into RL remains constant. Simultaneously, current through zener diode increases. Thus, the equation IS equals to IZ plus IL also satisfies. If we decrease the load, the load current increases. Thus, product V0 equals IL into RL again remains constant. Simultaneously, current through zener diode decreases. Thus, the equation IS equal to IZ plus IL is again satisfied. Hence, the output voltage remains constant, providing the load regulation. The next regulator is transistorized voltage regulator. There are mainly two types as series voltage regulator and shunt voltage regulator. Firstly, we will study series voltage regulator. This is called as series regulator because control element is placed in series with the input and output. The output voltage is sampled by a sample circuit that provides feedback voltage to the comparator. Comparator compares this voltage with the reference voltage and accordingly sends the control signal to series control element. If the output voltage increases, the comparator circuit provides a control signal to the series control element, telling it to reduce the magnitude of the output voltage, thereby maintaining the output voltage constant. On the other hand, if the output voltage falls, the comparator circuit provides a control signal to the series control element, telling it to increase the magnitude of voltage so that output voltage remains unchanged. In this way, the output voltage is maintained constant using series regulation. The next type is shunt regulator. In shunt regulator, a control element is connected in parallel to the load and other blocks remain same as sampling circuit, comparator circuit and reference voltage. In shunt regulator, total input current gets divided into two as shunt current that enters into control element and load current that flows through load. In this case also, comparator circuit provides the control signal to the control element which keeps the output regulated. Let's assume that the output voltage decreases. Then the sampling circuit provides corresponding decreased output voltage to the comparator. After comparing the output with the reference value, the comparator circuit sends the control signal to the control unit telling it to draw lesser shunt current so that load current will be greater and again output will increase to its previous value. Let's take a quick review of what we've learned in this chapter. Every electronic device has a power supply circuit which converts line voltage into DC voltage. It contains different sections as transformer, rectifier, filter and regulator. Voltage regulator is a circuit which supplies constant voltage at the output in spite of change in the input line voltage or change in the load. Voltage regulations are of two types, line regulation and load regulation. In line regulation, the output voltage remains constant irrespective of change in the line voltage. In load regulation, the output voltage remains constant irrespective of change in the load. The different types of regulators are Zener regulator, shunt regulator, series regulator, negative voltage regulator, switching regulator and high current regulator. We only focused on three regulators as Zener regulator, series regulator and shunt regulator. In Zener regulator, a Zener diode is connected in parallel with the load. A Zener diode supplies constant voltage even when operated in the reverse bias conditions. This property of Zener diode is used for regulation. Next type of regulator is transistorized voltage regulator, which is classified into two types as series voltage regulator and shunt voltage regulator. In series regulator, the control element is in series with the input and output, whereas in shunt regulator, the control element is in parallel with the output. In both the types, comparator circuit sends the control signal to the control element to maintain the regulation 
of output voltage.